This video is going to be very interesting. What up the amazing person currently watching this is Base Pick aka M. So you've probably seen on my channel I talk a lot about topics that are supposedly taboo but I also try to make like light-hearted videos. Today is going to be a bit of a combination of both because I recently found out and by recently I mean like about a month or so ago but kind of had to settle in of how interesting this was is that there is someone, I don't, I'm not entirely sure where, but someone has, obviously a woman's recently given birth, and put the gender of this child as X. So they don't really have a gender. Now, this is a bit confusing on certain levels. For starters, you've, if you see my video on the thoughts of gender, sexualities, like they're all, whatever I call it, I don't care what someone wants to identify as, I don't care if someone wants to identify as agender or not, but I feel like that's that person's choice. Don't tell them what they are, if that makes sense. Like, if this child grows up with a penis or a vagina, they're not gonna know that they are male or female. They're not gonna know that. If this person is born with a certain type of genitals, hate to break it to you, whatever they're born with, that's their sex. They're either a male or a female, or they or they change. I feel like gender, however, is something you kind of identify as, if that makes sense. Like, that's why it's always gender stereotypes and not sex stereotypes. Because I feel like for, like, a man, the gender is, you know, they're really strong, they're very masculine, all that kind of stuff. And for a woman, they're a bit more feminine, all that kind of stuff. So I feel like the actual sex of that child is set, unless they want to change. But the gender, they can kind of decide for themselves, if that makes sense. Um, so, my thing is, don't push that child to be a certain way, if that makes sense. Like, if they want to, you know, if they're like a man, for example, and they want to wear a dress and they feel like a man in that, to quote Jacqueline Glynn, they're no less of a man. If they're a woman and they want to wear pants or like a suit or something, they're no less than a woman. It's whatever makes them feel confident and comfortable in what they're doing. But I feel like if you're going to have this child as a gender, you've kind of already decided what they're going to identify as. And I feel like that's something you shouldn't do. You should let the person decide what they're going to identify as. And the people around them will either support them, make fun of them, or just ignore them pretty much. But I feel like if it's, it should be that person's choice and no one should really influence that. At the same time though, certain things can influence people, but I still think it's down to that individual's choice. So if this child's choice is going to be they want to be a gender, that's 100% fine. But I feel like the parents shouldn't have decided on that. This video was very short, but I didn't really know what else to say about that. That hasn't really already been said about this kind of topic. But I do want you to know that if you are a gender or asexual or you don't identify as anything, that's 100% fine. I, like I said, refer to any of my videos, you'll know that I don't care what people identify as. And when I say I don't care, I mean like that, that's not gonna make me change my opinion on you. Say for example, we were like best friends and you turn out to be a gender, I'm not just gonna dump you. We're still gonna be best friends. <laughs> like that's what I mean when I say I don't care. Um, but you know what? If that's what you identify as, that's what you identify as. No one should tell you differently. And if someone tries to, then just ignore them because they're not you. You're you. But this is the song I'm currently obsessed with. Please give this video a thumbs up. Comment something positive and there should be a subscribe button that side. Please press it because I would love if you were part of the musical family and Octopus's Garden. Other than that, I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll see you next time. M out. Peace, love, rock on. Bye. Welcome to Octopus's Garden. And after